Hey folks, we're going to do a very quick Bible study, and I'm also going to prove to you uh, why atheism is confused and it contradicts itself badly. I had another atheist uh, email me and another one leaving a comment on my channel here, and they're leaving atheism. They become a Christian. Thanks for all your great info. You have made my move from... It's not pulling up right. You have made my move from atheism to Christianity a much easier move. Thank you, sir. That's what they say. And I got a lot of emails like that. Also, don't forget to click, click below here and you can go see some of the nonsense of evolution, uh, some of the lies that the scientists have told that have now been proven lies, uh, the hoax, <laughs> the hoaxes of evolution. You got to see that right below here. But let's get back to this. Atheism is confused and it contradicts itself badly. Um, I have asked atheists this question. I said, does this claim that it's possible for God to exist contradict the claim it is possible for God to exist? And they say, yes, it does contradict itself. But this is exactly what atheism says. Both of these are claims made within atheism. Now, I've read the Bible, and in Christianity, the claim is, is that God exists. There's no contradiction. Atheism, however, contradicts itself. Both of these dudes here, you got two guys that are atheists, both can't be right. We would all agree on that. Can it be possible that every Christian is right that claims God exists? Of course it can be possible. Can it be possible that all the atheists are right? It cannot be possible because they're claiming two different things within atheism. It can't be possible for God to exist in reality and also impossible for God to exist in reality. Either God exists or he doesn't. Therefore, atheism by default automatically is proven wrong because it contradicts itself. This is a logical fallacy. Christianity claims Satan exists. Atheism, again, contradicts itself. It says it's impossible for Satan to exist, yet atheism also claims it is possible for Satan to exist. Talk to 50 atheists, they'll say that. They'll, half of them will say that, About it, the other half will say that. But in Christianity, Satan exists. Jesus is the Son of God. In order to be a Christian, Christianity, you believe Jesus is the Son of God. It clearly makes that claim. But in atheism, it contradicts itself once again. It says it's impossible for Jesus to be the Son of God. We hear atheists all the time saying that. However, we also hear atheists saying it is possible for Jesus to be the Son of God, thus proving atheism is confused and contradicts itself badly. The Bible uh, clearly, hold on a second, I clicked the links here. Okay, here we go. The Bible clearly says that man is a sinner. It clearly says that. Uh, however, uh, if you talk to atheist and the atheism position is that it's impossible that man is a sinner, yet you'll have other atheists that are also believing atheism is true and they're saying, no, it's, it is possible that man is a sinner. Atheism, again, very confused, and it contradicts itself badly. Now, I'm going to uh, give you the, uh, the atheist side real quick uh, before I'm done. Is there proof and evidence that Christianity is true? There is. You're going to see an annotation up here and an annotation on the bottom. You should watch both of those videos, science, history, archaeological proof, extra-biblical proof, uh, so much proof. But is there proof and evidence that atheism is true? No. In fact, science even contradicts atheism. Um, is there pr science proving atheism is wrong? Yes. Is there science proving the Bible is wrong? No. Now I ask you, which side contradicts itself more? It is clearer that atheism fails. Which side seems confused? It is clear that atheism is confused. Which side is Antichrist? It is clear that atheism is Antichrist. Now let's get to this Bible study. I'm going to read this fast. If what Jesus said is true, then atheist, their father, is Satan. If what Jesus said is true, we cannot deny that the atheist father is Satan. And a lot of atheists have never read the Bible, uh, but we're going to talk about this. Not only is the atheist father Satan, but atheists are promoting slavery. So let's talk about that. Jesus is talking to the scribes and Pharisees, and he's talking to people out in front of the temple. And watch what he says here. 
uh, he says, and go to John 8 and read this all the way through. Notice Jesus says, You are from beneath, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I said therefore unto you that you shall die in your sins. But that's not what atheists believe. Remember, they're conflicted and confused about that. Jesus is not confused. Jesus is taking the side of Christianity here. And Jesus is saying that you will die in your sins. He's telling us, and he says... For if you believe not that I am he, Jesus is claiming to be the Messiah, you shall die in your sins. Now, check this out. This is amazing. Jesus actually uh, says to these people, and these people were very much the personality of humanist atheists. They thought, however, they were uh, just fine. I would even go as far to say, if you ask most biblical scholars, they would say that the atheists of our modern time are not as moral and good, quote-unquote, as these people Jesus is talking to. But look what Jesus says to them. And if Jesus is telling the people this, imagine what he would say to the humanist atheists today. Here he goes. He calls them slaves to their sin. Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Whoever committeth sin is a slave of sin, and the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. Now, this is amazing. He says, if you continue my word, then you are my, my disciples, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. But he says, if you were able, uh, I'm sorry, they said, Abraham is our father. And they're basically saying, we're not slaves. And Jesus said, if you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham, but now you seek to kill me. A man that hath told you the truth, which I've heard of God, this did not Abraham. In other words, Abraham's, I'm greater than Abraham is what he's saying. Now watch closely here. He says, you do the deeds of your father. Listen to what Jesus is saying. Then said they to him, we be not born of fornication. We have one Father, even God. So they're basically claiming they're good with God, right? These people, if you compare the people that Jesus are talking to in the Bible here to the new atheist of the year 2011, these people obviously were not even as bad uh, as the new atheist of 2011. But look what Jesus says to these people. He says, if God were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God, neither came of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech, even because you cannot hear my word? In other words, they're not paying attention to him. Look very closely. I want everyone to read. Go look up John 8:44. What I'm about to tell you should scare the hell out of every atheist that's watching this video and everyone that is antichrist. Jesus says, you are of your father, the devil. Let's read that again. This is sweet, gentle, loving, honest, sincere Jesus saying this. You are of your father, the devil. And the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own. In other words, that's his nature. For he is a liar and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, here's it, here's the truth. This is everything that Jesus said right here. Jesus said all those things. Jesus never said those things. He says, Because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Which of you convinceth me of sin? In other words, he's like, okay, what have I done wrong? I haven't sinned. And he says, and if I say the truth, why don't you believe me? He that is of God heareth the good words. You therefore hear them not. Here it is, guys because you are not of God. I'm telling you guys, if you're thinking this way, Jesus would say your father 
is Satan. I'm telling you, read the scripture, go to John 8, um, 44, and these people, quite frankly, I, in my opinion, were not as bad as the modern atheists of today's time. Now, let me wrap this video up. You know, when I go through this with atheists, they'll admit, they'll say, you know, Shock, I do admit that atheism contradicts itself, and it contradicts itself badly. They admit it, but they say, but Shock, you know, we're always in search of truth, and we'll find it, you know, science is going to find it, and, and they tell me it's like a mountain that we all must climb, you know, and they'll say, and one day, Shock, you know, we'll find the truth, one day we'll get to the top of the mountain and we'll know the truth. But right now, nobody knows what truth is, even though Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus claimed all those things were true right there. Well, what I would say, you guys, as an ex-atheist that realize atheism is a bunch of crapola, to the people that are searching for truth, you're going to find that when you finally do your searching and research and you look at science, and by the way, click the annotations that pop up and click below this video. I'll put some links there that prove uh, science proves atheism is confused and contradicts itself badly. But you guys are going to find, those of you that are saying, oh, we're climbing this mountain of truth and stuff. Well, look, I've been to the mountaintop, guys. I've already done the research. It is obvious this can't be true. By default, this for sure can't be true because both of those claims can't be right we all agree on that this however can be true it's not contradicting itself this is but those of you that are saying one day we're going to climb this mountain of truth and we'll finally finish climbing it and what you guys are going to find is as you climb this mountain of truth like I have, and I've looked at atheism, I've looked at the science that totally proves Christianity is true, it totally proves that atheism is not true. What you guys are going to find, those of you that are looking for truth, and also when you read the Bible, by the way, that when you actually get to the top of the mountain, you're going to find that the Christians were already there. And they're going to say, hey, what took you so long? So I've been to the mountaintop, like one of my uh, uh, favorite men of history has said, Martin Luther King Jr., he said, I've been to the mountaintop. And here's the thing, guys, there's no possible way all this can be true. It's impossible. It even contradicts itself. Therefore, by default, this can't be trusted. At best we know that this is a lie and at least we know that it is confused what I would suggest you guys do I want to give you something here go to my channel um, it's going to be uh, shockanow.net right there shockanow.net and when you go there you're going to see a link let's go there right now you're going to see a link here that says errors and lies of evolution exposed and a few reasons why I left atheism and resources for leaving atheism click that and start climbing the mountain of truth um, also go into our chat room I'm going to go there right now click enter chat room there's two chat rooms chat room one is the one you usually find me in check this out there's already people in there isn't this awesome we got 17 people in the chat room right now uh, talking. You can go to the chat room and you can learn about why atheism is not true and why Christianity is true. So listen, guys, as you're climbing this mountain of truth, remember when you get there, the Christians are already going to be there and they're going to say, hey, what took you so long?